what is good, John? Welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for y'all. Now, in today's video, um, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about why I went with the 10-speed automatic versus getting the 6-speed manual. Yo, J.I. Squad, hold that thought real quick. Before we get into this video, I just need to tell y'all, J.I. Wings and Cars, February 18th, 7 to 10. If you haven't seen this flyer right here on my IG, obviously you're not following me, J.I. Productions underscore. Make sure you guys go tap in. 7 to 10, I will have merch. There will be a live DJ. There is free food until 8.30. There will be a photographer. And I will be revealing the wheels for Vader at the meet. This is the first of many monthly meets. Um, J.I. Wings and Cars is something that we're trying to do for all of 2022, one Friday out of every single month. So if you haven't already, make sure you can try to squeeze in the 7 to 10 gap period on Friday, February 18th, 2022. So you can be there, pull up, come check out the car. Come say what's up to the kid. Come get on the vlog. Come grab you some merch. Grab you some good food. Have a good time and get some photos taken of your car. Enjoy the content. Now, I feel like I've touched bases on this a little bit before, but I've been getting a lot of DMs asking me why I went with the 10 speed auto versus the 6 speed manual transmission. Now, as you guys know, the Camaro comes in either the 8 speed automatic, the 10 speed automatic, or the 6 speed Trimic manual transmission. Those are the three options you can get when it comes to the transmission of a Camaro. Now, don't get me wrong, as far as the manual goes, the Trimic is way better than the MT82. Way, way, way better. I've heard nothing but positive reviews, solid reviews about the MT82. I mean, not the MT82, the Trimic that comes in the Camaro. Um, and don't get me wrong, up until 2020, if I'm not mistaken, it might be 2021. Y'all can let me know down in the comment section down below. The 1LEs came in a six-speed manual only. You either got it in the manual or you didn't get it because it's a track-oriented car track focused car so usually when doing autocross and stuff like that people typically want to be able to manually select what gear they are and keep the car in said gear to be able to you know what i'm saying make that lap time be as fast as possible now with that being said in 2021 or 2020 like i said before Chevy decided, hey, let's go ahead and take this amazing 10-speed automatic transmission that we got and throw it in the 1LE and give it to our track focus guys. Now, when they did that, you know what I'm saying, that's when they messed up. Because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I really wanted to take on the manual life, try out the manual um, transmission, see what it's like and whatnot. And, um, and that's what I did when I got Reaper. Mustang GT was a six-speed manual MT82 transmission. As you guys know, if you've been a part of the channel for a while, you guys would have already known about that video. Um, I went ahead and I got the manual, man. And I did it legit just so I could see, A, what all the hype is about, and B, what it's like to own a manual car and take a manual car down the drag strip. So with that being said, I went ahead and got the manual. I loved it, don't get me wrong, it was fun, it was super dope, it was a great car, right? Now, the Fords are terrible as far as their manual transmissions go, so it was a little, you know, skeptical on whether or not I should get the Mustang to be my first manual car. However, I went ahead and did it, I bit the bullet, and as soon as I got it, clutch went out. Had to replace the clutch. Had to replace the, not the clutch went out, the uh, master slave cylinder went out. And then while I was replacing the master slave cylinder, um, I checked the clutch and the clutch plates came out as in conf as confetti would and it was just all bad. So I had to replace the clutch as well, upgraded it to the next Grady Stage 3 twin disc clutch. Um, and yeah, got a whole bunch of clutch chatter. And that was one of the things that I talked about in a video um, that I hated the most. 
as you guys know, if you've been around the channel for a minute or you've been following me for a minute or you just know me personally, I do not like new noises. I hate new noises when it comes to a vehicle. I don't need any extra sounds other than the exhaust, maybe a couple backfires, that's it. Any ticking noises, any creaking noises, squeaking noises, any noise that you can think of, you feel me? That's additional, that is not supposed to be there, and you didn't choose to put make your car sound like that, something is wrong or whatever, I hate. So, the next Grady Clutch had crazy clutch chatter. I'm talking about stupid clutch chatter, y'all. It was insane. I made multiple video. I made a video about it. I talked about it in a couple videos, um, but I legit made a full video dedicated to talking about the clutch chatter because I could not stand it. It was inconsistent. It was loud as hell. You could hear it over the radio. You could hear it over the <laughs> over the exhaust. It was terrible. It sounded like something was wrong with the car. So with that being said, when I was thinking about buying my 2021 Camaro 1 LE, I was legit, I was legit set. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a manual. I'll get the manual car, it is what it is. I, I love the manual, I love shifting, it's cool. And then I found out that Chevy had thrown the A10 in the 2021 1 LEs and that was it. That was wraps. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all, man. I've seen just like y'all have seen what these 10 speeds can do off of simple botons, man. Simple botons, simple modifications. These joints run 11 second passes with ease, man, on a regular tire, not even on a good tire, man. So with that being said, as far as a car that I want to start the fleet with, you know what I'm saying, for the channel, move forward and keep and not trade in, not sell, not do anything like that, I was like, man, I might as well just get an A10. And I've touched on this before in a previous video, so if you haven't already, make sure you guys go tap in. But I was telling y'all, with this car, I plan on building it into a baby ZL1. So with that being said, I just felt like the A10 would have been the best transmission to throw a blower on. Just a little tunnel, nothing crazy. But anyway, like I was saying, yeah, man, I can easily throw a blower or twin turbo setup on an A10 and make, uh, on a manual car and make crazy power, boost my gear, have fun, and it'd be great. But I was thinking, why not get an A10, throw a blower on it, throw forged internals in the car, do everything that I need to do, make it a ZL1, and just keep it forever. And it'll literally run consistent times, numerous numerous amounts of times time and time and time again i just wanted a car that was gonna run consistent times i wasn't gonna have to worry about replacing the clutch play, uh hearing clutch chatter or any of that dumb stuff or you know having a cylinder uh a master cylinder go out on you after having a car for literally like two three weeks like i, I just didn't want to deal with all of that and a manual car brings all of those problems you feel me so that's why I went ahead and said, you know what? I'm gonna get my Win LE in the 10 speed automatic and I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of it. And so far, that's literally what I've done. So with that being said, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about the A10s and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.